Yeah, the the net net of the whole thing is soft skills and strategy. You know, speech is a behavior. So the same way that Amazon can say people who shop for this also look for that, or Netflix can say people who like these movies enjoy those shows, our system can say people who speak like this think like that and do these types of behaviors. And so if we can look at a person behavioralistically based on their speech patterns in a minute of speech, uh, we can create that customized output. We can create that soft skill. And that's what good salespeople do. They read the room, they get a sense of the person they're talking to, and they customize their message accordingly. Well, that's what AI can do now. And you know, we have an API that plugs into LLMs. So a lot of people are saying, okay, how can we use this tool to create better outlines? Like uh, you know, everyone else was saying, it's true. That's a great tool. Um, and, and to Shanif's point, like the long form is a little generic and it's a little dry, but if we can create a psychographic profile on the person and say, this is how th this individual wants to be treated. This is how committed they are and where they are in a sales process. That means you're creating customized messages the way a person wants to be treated. And whether that for clinical or sales, what we're doing there is meeting a person where they really are. Instead of just saying it's company centric or product centric, it can go back to being customer centric communication. Mm -hmm.